One of the key questions if you're looking at installing a heat pump is how much it's going to cost and how much should you pay. So I've just been looking at how you can possibly estimate the actual material cost of the heat pump and then the actual installation cost. Most of these things you can find online and I've found a couple of very good resources. Midsummer Solar do a, a very nice tool. You literally build your kit. So I'll, I'll build my heat pump. So it's a seven kilo valent. So you choose which heat pump. Choose the heat pump, choose a cylinder. I'll go for a 250 litre Unistore. And then it's created me a kit list. So I'm going to edit that a bit because I'm not going to have a buffer tank. So I'm going to take out the buffer tank. And so it automatically creates the kit list. Creates the kit list like that. Just okay. fits. And then take out the um, secondary pump. So then there's my kit list. So I can then say to Midsummer, create my kit. And what it then does is spit, a, spit out a full list. Now it's probably not absolutely everything. There's probably some more piping you need, but it's all the essential items associated with putting the heat pump in. Um, creates a subtotal. I mean, you can literally order it, but here is the subtotal before VAT. 7549 for the kit. Um, so why is the VAT with it? Well, I don't know. I suppose if you're not a, a, a licensed installer, like um, Glenn Hudson, for instance, he installed one himself and he couldn't get it VAT free because wow. you need the MCS okay. side of it to do that. Right. But um, but yeah, for if you're getting it done through an MCS approved installer, then it'll be VAT free. So it's interesting, but if I then look at a couple of others, so here Midsummer is saying the heat pump is 4655. That's your 7 kilowatt. 7 kilowatt. But yeah. then if I look around a bit more, so now I go to heat pump warehouse, they're saying the VAT free price is 3399. Um, and interesting, and if you then go... That's to, a big difference. It's a huge difference. So, And they also say, if you're trade, contact us. So, and then there's also City Plumbing who, who actually do their own um, kit builder as well. So I've, you can, again, I've done exactly the same thing with City Plumbing um, and they, their kit comes out at 5,300. 5, and the other one was about nine. It was about seven, I think, was yeah, seven? seven and a half. So what it, and seven and a half plus fat, yeah. Yeah, so seven and a half, I'm looking at the VAT free yeah, price. Yeah. So it leads me to believe, I'm sure Midsummer are competitive when it comes to an installer. So it means, leads me to believe they're offering something like a 35% discount to installers. So from that, it gives you an idea of what the material cost would be. So as I say, I think it's around the 5,000 pound mark because City Plumbing and Heat Pump Warehouse will offer trade deals as well. So again, I think that's the easy part. So when you did this for your house, how did it work out? Yeah, good question. So what I've done is a, a cost breakdown here using the midsummer price, kit price we saw there and discounting it by 35%, which still puts a heat pump at about the same level as the other two. And they're saying they'll, they'll give further discount. Then put in 500 for sundries, radiators, etc. I've worked out the total material cost is 5,407. So that you, did that include your radiators? Um, I reckon the 500 is. Radiators are ridiculously cheap. This is the screw fix price that I can buy them for. 70 quid. 70 quid. Mm. Uh, that's the VAT free price. But I'm sure an installer can get another 10 or 20% off that. So the, all the radiators are probably three or 400 quid. So I, th I think it's within the sundries, to be honest. So changing a radiator is not a big issue? No, no, if you're going for standard radiators, if you're going for you know designer radiators, it might be a different matter. But if you're just change the radiator and also it's no effort when they change the radiators in this house they literally did it in the last afternoon and they just whizzed around the house moving some to other places putting new ones in it's a trivial job because you can isolate the two two ends of where the radiator goes slot another one in so yeah again you know you shouldn't stint on the radiator size if you if you've got space and you can put a bigger or more powerful radiator in you should do it now the harder thing to know is the installation cost. I think you've got to work out a cost per man. You have. So I've had a, I've had a go at doing it two ways. Mm. So if you think of it, the job is removal of the gas boiler tank, expansion vessel, etc., fitting of a new heat pump, running flow and return from outside the house to the tank room, fitting hot water tank, expansion vessels, tidying up of plumbing, fitting eight new radiators, six or new, three, three, two reused, 
all the electrical work associated with it, um, commission the system, removal all scrap material. So that's the what the installation effort is or the work is. So then I've looked at a couple of different ways of costing it. One is just looking up daily rates. So I've looked up how much with uh, dot com website and they're talking about three hundred pounds a day for a plumber. So in our case, two installers for five days. So I've assumed three thousand quid, um, ten ten working days. So two installers, ten times three hundred. Yeah. yeah, that's fine. Three thousand. Then at, at least it gives you a ballpark. It time. does exactly, and and. This is the bit that's a bit more subjective. An electrician one day, it wasn't that much probably, but assuming other bits of hand that people were doing. It's still, it's still a good yeah. rough measure. So 3,300 to Yeah, now it. I've, I don't know if I'm being over generous, but then I've said that you know, this is a company that has an office and an office staff and, and they need to do other things like heat loss surveys, quotation. So I've put another three, double that price. Cool. So, um, so that's if you then add the six thousand six hundred to the to the material to the material. You're talking about eleven thousand something, which is close to what I paid. So 11, that's almost bang on what I paid mm. before you know before the grant. <clears throat> so yeah, it's it's it, as you can see, I've done it. The other way I've done it is to use today's prices for the heat pump, um, discounted by the thirty five percent based on the logic I went through. So the material is about five two. Total bill about 11, 11, 7, insulation costs six and a half. So I think that's really roughly what it's costing. Um, so that gives you an idea then when you get a quote, before that's right. you get a quote, what you're looking for. Yeah. And I suppose also what it does is let them know that you know a little bit about yeah. the material costs. Yeah. And therefore, if they do try and swing it, yeah. they're speaking to somebody who's actually done a bit of homework. And I, speak, I think the other thing is you might have to wait at times. I mean, I went through some very high quotes and just, just kept going. You know, we went to the fully charged show and the valent gave me some more contacts because I was just running out of people who, who could give me sensible quotes. So you just have to keep going, I think. And if it's a very busy period, you might find they're being unreasonable. Um, and I suspect that's possibly the case at the moment. But it is quite interesting. You can certainly get to pretty close to the bottom of the material cost, and then you know this was a it was a full on five day install, fully fully busy. So a lot of installs won't be that won't take that long. I think that's a very good point because I went for a whole pile of quotes with us, and more recently I've been getting phone calls from the, some of these people who want to come back. Who, yeah, come yeah. Back. is it still available? Yeah. In other words, they're hitting a quiet yeah. period, but. I had two or three phone calls like that. For the heat pump. For the heat pump. Yeah, that's right. So I suppose you could leave the message saying, it's a bit steep, if you can improve yeah. on that, get back to me. Wait, you're, you're outside my budget. Yeah, you're outside my budget, yeah. And I, I'll wait. Yeah, but... Um, yeah, very good. Yeah, so quite interesting. Yeah, very, very interesting.